Hello everybody, today we're going to be playing Banjo-Tooie on the Xbox One. It's going to be a godsend. Let's get to it. Banjo-Tooie. Just as good as the first, if not better. So I personally, we're going to go to another account because... The thing about this game is, I know another account who's 100% um, of it almost. And because they've almost 100%ed it, well, we can go through more of the landscape than we could. So we're gonna go to this guy. Because he has it, and I don't. Alright. Alright. Banjo Tui. back where we were last time. Now, I was really never into this game as much. It's just way too difficult in my opinion, and in my honest and humblest opinion, it's just way too long. Like, some of the levels are fine, but there are some levels that are just way, way too difficult and way too long to go alright, such as Grunty's interesty, interesting industries. It really is way too long for its own good. It takes several hours just to 100% it, and it's really not even that interesting to begin with, to be completely honest with you. So this is a cool lair, to say the least. I mean, I'm glad this game at least got a sequel. Because believe me when I say it, it did not get a third game. At least not the proper one. There's five games in this series. They're all pretty good. Four adventure games, one's a spin-off, which is a racing game, which... I do not believe I have. I sold all my Game Boy games to my puppets. So, I don't have any more. So, we're gonna do this, and we're going to... Okay, the uh, controls are inverted from Kazooie. Here we go. Let's go inside the lair. Like I said, there's really not much in here. This is blocked off. This is the only thing that we can see um, she doesn't even own it anymore I used to believe that this guy owned this lair but he doesn't nor has he ever owned it this has always been Grunty's but she just never used it alright so here we go so here it is from up here up in the sky it's pretty cool, but I mean, it's just alright in my honest opinion. The new part is really what we're interested in. Believe me when I say it. This is the new part. The new overworld. So this is where it starts. It starts in Jinro Village. It's a very cool place, I gotta say. And my Minecraft world is awesome, just remember I never completed it. I did do Grunty's Industries, which was a godsend, and I've never really seen anybody do that. I've seen someone who's completed, like, everything. And I was going to do Nuts and Bolts. I was going to do that little town, which theoretically would not have been that much. I mean, it's not that big of a space. But I never got the line to it, and I'm really trying to quit games, because I just... 
I'm trying to prepare for my future and it's just not very productive. Like making YouTube videos are working out, you know, making rap, working for my future is productive, but this isn't. So here we go. I wouldn't I'd be lying to you if I said this wasn't fun, because it's great. But here we go. There's one of the that's the first level right there. That's a pretty good level, in my honest opinion. I love this level. It's a great one. But really nothing I can do about it at the moment. You know, there's only so many banjo games. When I first played through nuts and bullets, that was a great time, honestly. And I needed that. At least I think I did. Alright. This leads to the second part of the overworld. This is very high, but there is a limit to how high you can get. So, so there's two parts that lead to not the same place. They lead to two entirely different uh, places in general. This place leads to a like little cliffside, um, which is pretty cool, but I mean, there's only a little bit of levels over here. This is not how you get to the final world. There's that fireplace, there's him, and then there's this little water place down here. But other than that, this place is pretty barren and not really necessary for anything. It's okay. Alright, let's go to the other place. If Believe me if I say that, if I could fly, I would. I really wish I could. It'd be a lot quicker. You can see the marks where Grunty came from. That's the second level. Um, this is really where we need to be going if we want to get anywhere. We need to unlock fire eggs to get over here. And this is Witchy Road. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then you get into this little pile right here. And then you're required to you see the, the, the uh, controls are the complete opposite of Banjo Kazooie, the swimming controls. So that's why I keep getting a little bit like, like differentiated about it because I'm not used to it. This is the like one, so one of the final levels. And um, there's a level over here which is a bubble, and I had an idea for Banjo 3E, and maybe it could work as its own thing, I don't know. Banjo 4E sounds pretty cool, but Banjo 3 should be the main component at the moment. Maybe like a ROM hack of Banjo 2E, that would be pretty cool. There's a ROM hack of Banjo uh, Kazooie, which is Banjo 3, which when I played it was honestly very good, and there was a sequel to it, which was not Banjo 4E. But it was a pretty good ROM hack, and maybe one day we will play that, because that was a very, very good ROM hack, in my honest opinion. Alright, so we need to kill them. Alright, here we go. And just like that, we're close to the final end. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Alright, here we go. So these will be all uploaded on different dates. Alright, so this is how we get to the end. Because there's actually a little tower which is kind of like Grunty's Lair, but it's not. Cauldron Keep, the final, I guess you could say level, but section of the game. Which is the very top of everything. So here we go. We're gonna enter through the main entrance. Which is a pretty cool entrance, but that's not what's important. It's not as big as Grunty's Lair. They could have made this the entire overworld, which would be a pretty cool ROM hack if all the levels were in here very similar to Grunty's Lair. I have a, I have a lot of ideas on how to make this game ROM hacks wise. Um, but there's not a lot of ROM hacks for Banjo 2 because I don't think it can get ROM hack pretty much. So here we go, this leads us out to here. And then 
I believe he killed her, so we can just go up here and do whatever we really want, to be honest with you. Here we go. Yep. This is the very top of the game. The very top of Grand Tills of the Lord. There's a giant force field over it, which I don't know why. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But yeah, it's pretty cool. They have to bend to do it.